we return to alignment procedures and now concentrate on radial alignment, top and bottom. In this check, a second clock gauge is employed and set up on the gauge clamp. Note that the plunger contacts the outer edge of the driven half coupling. Zero the gauge after ensuring that it is at the top of the coupling. Again, we rotate the coupling by 180 degrees, taking note of the direction and amount of needle movement. If the needle moves in a positive direction, then the motor is too high. Conversely, the motor is low if the needle moves in a negative direction. To counter top and bottom radial runout, we must add or remove an equal amount of shims at each foot or mounting position. The thickness of shims to be added or removed is half the measured radial runout. Add an equal amount of shim to each motor foot to raise the motor if it is low. Likewise, remove the calculated shim thickness from under each motor foot if the motor is high. It is very important that only the correct shim thickness be added or removed at all four motor pedestals or feet. After any shim adjustment and before tightening the motor hold down bolts, recheck the preliminary alignment. After securing the motor hold down bolts, Recheck both the radial and axial top and bottom alignment to ensure that they do not exceed 0,05 millimeters. Stop the video at this juncture and perform the self-check exercise for task number four as outlined in your workbook.